Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Higarushi, When They Cry. Alright, so let's check out these tips. Huju's couples, Huju couples falling incident. From the June 1980 edition. On the afternoon of XX at 2 p.m., office employee XXXX and his wife XXXX of Hinamizawa Village in Shishibone Prefect, uh, Prefecture District. Uh, prefecture disappeared after falling 27 meters from the observ observ yeah, observatory platform in Shikurawa, Shira, Shira Kawawa Prefecture. Police and firefighters searched the downstream and discovered the body of XXXX at around 7 p.m. that evening. There we are. His wife, XXXXX, has yet to be found. The search has run into difficulties due to the effects of Typhoon 3 from the previous day. It appeared a railing at the observ uh, observatory, uh, observatory that the XX leaned on had broken, causing him to fall. The grounds keeping staff was questioned by the police in regards to facility deterioration and if park maintenance was performed properly. Alright, the terminal illness death of Shinto priest Fu Furud. From the June 1981 edition, on the afternoon of XX around 10 p.m. Whoa, that's loud. Uh, around 10 p.m. in the X district of Hinamizawa village in Shishibone prefecture, the Shinto priest of the Furud shrine passed away after an existing condition that he was recovering from suddenly worsened. Parties close to the deceased said that close parties close to the deceased said that he was suffering from anxiety issues concerning the festival which was to be held that day also after xxxx's death his wife xxxx went missing leaving behind a farewell note the police and local youth association continued the search however given the presence of the farewell message and the fact that the onigafuchi marsh is said to be the is said to be bottomless they have run into difficulties okay Housewife murder. It wasn't reported in the newspaper. That's it. Housewife murder was not in the newspaper. Okay, radio log. This is Okinoma, Okinomiya Station calling Unit 3. Unit 3, please respond. This is Unit 3, loud and clear. Backup is heading your way. Hold position until further instructions. Over. Roger, Unit 3 acknowledged. Requesting no headlights. Requesting radio silence. Station, the doctor has arrived. They want to carry it away. What's the order? Over. Acknowledged. Leave it to the doctor. Affirmative. Understood. Ah, backup has arrived. Shouldn't we let them take a photo first? I think the Vic is done for. All right. So... Cheery way to, to start off this. Yeah, because then I can go back to those. Oh, I can't. That's, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, cheery way to start off this episode. All right, continue onward. Do, do. All right, good morning. Nice job yesterday, Kichan. You didn't do so badly yourself, Mion. Yesterday was fun. Do, do, do. Oh, that's right. Kichi-kun, thank you very much for Mr. Bear. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Don't use it as a pincushion, though. I wouldn't. Still chatting happily, we entered the classroom. But a moment, but the moment I stepped into the room, a splashing sound and a nasty sensation. Ah, they put the bucket over my head. It was a bucket filled to the brim with water. Yep. Classic, classic fool prank. And unfortunately, my step, my foot stepped right into it. Oh, they put it on the floor. Do 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 do. My now, how diligent of you to mop the floor this morning. Ha <laughs> Clomp clomp clomp. Fwit, bwiff. Kichi san flicked my forehead. <laughs> you should set a more brutal trap next time. Seeing that, Rena began to swoon as Mion looked on dejectedly. Oh, that's it. Okay. Everything was the same as always. Everybody was there, and nothing felt out of place. 
the uncertainties I'd had in the back of my mind since yesterday had vanished. What is it, Keichi-kun? Didn't get enough sleep, maybe? Maybe? I slept like a log, but if you want, I'll do a reenactment during class. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Mian alerted us that the teacher was coming, so everyone shuffled off to their seats. Good morning, everyone. So yesterday was the festival. Thank you to all the people who stayed until the very end to help clean up. We were all slackers, so none of us actually helped clean up. <laughs> actually, I had a feeling that the only thing we did was run around the festival and cause a ruckus. Okay, then. This time of the year, you might see some people here from out of town doing interviews about the festival for magazines. I thought it was the usual stuff, so I was going to tune it out. But then I noticed the different tone in her voice and started paying attention. You may be asked questions. Please don't say anything silly or something that could be taken the wrong way. Do you understand? In unison, everyone replied, Yes, ma'am. What she said was really vague, but I understood what she was trying to say. Yeah. After all, this was the fifth year. There were probably lots of third-rate reporters pouring in, hoping someone, something regarding the curse had happened. Yep. It did nothing but perpetuate the village's bad image. She was saying, don't spout stupid shit you think is funny. Ah. And now, I was one of the ones who needed to keep their mouths shut. I found it rather cute how I felt a sense of unity from such a trite thing, if I do say so myself. Ding, 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 ding. Lunchtime? I was summoned to club activities after school. Okay, that's in school. Since everybody was still pretty tired from yesterday, we spent the day relaxing. Pete... Yeah, that wasn't happening. Wait, what? Relaxing? Oh, peacefully. Yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> Today, let's play a classic game of deduction. How about this one? Oh, a game from overseas. Looks interesting. Ooh, I just really tr kicked my trash can. The instructions are in English. But the rules don't seem that hard. Alright, what do we got? What game is it? Monopoly? <laughs> I... I won't lose, you hear? I'm not too bad at this game. It seemed that Reyna didn't handle this kind of game very well. Hmm, okay. The rules are, the person who can match the murder, weapon, and the scene of the crime wins. Ah, good old clue. There were three kinds of cars comprised of suspects, weapons, and locations. Yep, good old clue. I can see that the names Mion and Rico were written on the suspect cards. Oh, a car with my name on it as well. There are plenty of different weapons, too. Turn that down just a wee bit. Ooh, that was a little too much. Boop. Uh, boop. Uh, like knives, axes, and poison. The locations are pretty nice, too. Like the living room, the study, and the courtyard. So basically, you take out one of each of the cards. These are the answer cards. So we shuffle the remaining cards and hand them out. Uh, oh, and hand them out. That was not a question. We ask each other about the cards and figure out the right ones. Ah, I see. So the card nobody has are the true perpetrators. Then you raise your hand if you know the answer. The game ends and we check if the answer is correct. If you're right, then you get a point. If you're wrong, then you lose a point. Since the game ends, even if no one gets it right, all the cards are gathered up and redistributed. You'll learn as you go. You really have to use your brain. You'll get confused if you don't take notes. The rest of you can figure out by playing, so... Mion! What's the penalty this time? Everyone directed their attention to Mion. Let's see. We're all still a little tired from yesterday, so maybe we'll take it easy with a gopher penalty. Gopher penalty? You'll be asked to rush out and buy stuff. Ah, buy stuff for everyone, okay. So just being asked to go buy stuff like drinks and candy, I guess. Nah, it's gonna be much worse than that. <laughs> I feel like the penalty today is pretty simple. I wonder, is it really? It's not. You have to buy something ridiculous. Is, as an example, quickly sidetracking. Uh, we, when I was younger, we had a uh, scavenger hunt where one of the things was you had to go into the Safeway or you know the, the local grocery store and pick up um, a cucumber condoms and lube <laughs> so yeah i'm sure it's gonna be something like that except probably less graphic because it's you know still a game and yada 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 is keichi-san thinking what i'm thinking yeah 
You don't know what you'll have to go buy. I'm betting Mion would send out whoever loses to buy stuff like hemorrhoid cream. Yep, or happy, fa happy family planning manual or other crazy stuff. Yep. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. The cards were lightly shuffled and passed out to each player. The rear perpetrator, the correct weapon, and the scene of the murder have been taken out. So that means all the cards I have in my hand are innocent cards. Then, I'll go first since I'm the club president. I guess. Well then, Mion. Well then, Mion, Knife, and Study. You pick one suspect, weapon, and murder scene and ask each person. If you have any of these cards, then you must say, I have one. However, you don't need to say which one you have. Yeah, I got it. Me too. I have one too. Oh, I have one. Oh my, all of them are here. The people answered when she asked if they had me on knife and study. Ooh. There we go. Uh, so that means me on and knife and study are all in the clear. Got to jot that down. Then I'll go. Reina, Axe, Lounge. Hmm, only two people said they had one. So it means out of Reina, Axe, and Lounge, one of them is correct and is part of the crime. No, wait. Even if they say they have one, they don't have to say how many. It's possible that either, that either Satoko or Rika-chan has two of the cards. Well, Kei-chan is next. Go ahead. Whoa, 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 wait just a little. I'm still sorting things out. The game has me thinking more than I thought. Oh man, this feels like it's gonna be tough. What do we got? What am I saying? What am I guessing? All right, now I have the criminal. What? Already? Here I am spinning around in circles, and Mion just now raises her hand. The murder is Rika-chan, in the infirmary with the poison. Well, Mion drew the cards in the box, and we checked to see if her deduction was right. So because maybe we skipped something, or maybe she was just that good. You were right. Ugh, all I needed was one more hand. I couldn't tell it was poison or a pistol. I never use a pistol. <laughs> I like killing them slowly with poison. <laughs> Rika Chen said such a hugely terrifying thing with such a sweet little face. Everyone was making commotion about how they almost had it. Ren and I were left out in the cold, though. How did you do, Kichikun? I couldn't get it at all. Don't worry. I had no idea either. How can you both be so unsure? You'll both end up in last place together at this rate. That's even worse. Going off buying something together as a couple. <laughs> what if we end up having to buy the happy family planning guide? <laughs> I can tell from Keiichi's expression that he is not very good at this game. Wah, that's not true. I'll show you the true power of Sherlock Mayabara during the next round. <laughs> My, my, that sounds just wonderful. I shall give you quite the thrashing. After that, I managed to somewhat grasp the trick behind the game, but I was still always a step or two behind. I saw that Mion was somehow gleaning information from how the others were asking their questions. That level of experience was just too much. The only way I could stage a comeback was if I became ruthless. I tossed out the simple concept of deduction and switched over to the thought process needed to win. The important thing isn't to find out the criminal, it's to win at the game. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Eureka! Ah, sorry, need to go to the bathroom. Take your time to squeeze out a nice one. <laughs> oh, Mion. Michan, that's gross! I had them hold off the game and headed down to the hall. The air was crisp. It showed just how stagnant the air in the classroom was from our body heat. On the school grounds, some of the classmates were still playing around. After spending some time cooling my head, Reina had made her way towards me. Keichi-kun, did you call for me? Yeah, I did. As I got up from my seat, I winked over at Reina. I'm glad it worked out. I don't want to waste time, so I'll get right to the point. Reina, what's your record at this game we're playing today? She was taken aback. 
After a moment, she hesitantly opened up her mouth. Uh, um, well, all losses. Why do you ask, I wonder? I wonder. I could tell from how apprehensively she was playing. The way things are going, I will as well. I can't figure out a way to pull off a last minute comeback on this one. So, so I guess both of us will be taking that penalty? Hey, hey, don't accept defeat already. How about we win this? Both of us. But, but, but how can we? I brought my lips up to Reyna's ear. Whisper, 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 whisper. <laughs> Man, I cannot get comfortable much here right now. Huh? Is this, a, is that allowed? Did you forget, Reyna, the second rule of our society? Do everything in your power to obtain victory. Yeah, yeah, I'll try my best. So we're colluding. Collusion! Our plan of attack was a, was a quite rudimentary one. At the beginning of the game, everyone would be focused on their own hand for a while, taking notes and whatnot. Since our seats were right next to each other, we'd reveal our hands to each other. If we did it under the desk, then nobody would know. We'd begin the game with twice as much information as, as everyone else. Having this information would mean we'd need to investigate less. With this sort of plan of attack, we start off with a big lead over the other guys. Yeah, yeah, with this, we can probably win. We both smirked at each other. If I was this shade, if I was the shady businessman, then Reyna was the corrupt senator. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Then let's hurry back. We'll work as a duo to surprise everyone. Hey now, there's no point if we go back together. It would be like a flat out telling them we made a little arrangement. Oh, sorry, then what should we do? Go back ahead of me, Reyna. I'll take my time coming back after washing my face or something. Okay, got it. Reyna turned around and headed back to the classroom. Hmm, I guess I should wait a bit longer before going back. If I went too soon, it wouldn't seem like I went to the bathroom. If Mion or one of them suspected something, then there could be problems. Well, they'd figure it out sooner or later, because both Reyna and I would start winning over and over again. Both Reyna and I will have earned the points to avoid being the losers by the time Mion realized what was happening. Excellent. Not bad at all. My Barakun, may I have a moment? Huh? It's the teacher. Man, things were just getting good. What is it? I'm a bit... You have a guest. Ooh, I have a guest. Please make your way to the entrance. A guest? It's not like a hotel. Not like I own a hotel. They have been waiting. Please hurry. It was rather unfortunate that I'd have someone waiting on me right before my big match, but I was more interested in the unexpected guest. I didn't want to waste any time, so I just decided to take care of it quickly. Who we got? The entryway was a heavy contrast from the hot sunlight and deep shadows. Who is this? Waiting there, looking uncomfortably warm, was a middle-aged man, his tie sloppily loosened and his jacket tucked underneath his arm. A reporter? Are you Mayabara-san? Keiichi Mayabara-san? There was no question that he wasn't a resident of Hinamizawa, and that this was without a doubt the first time he had met me. Yeah, this is a reporter. Ever since I met, met Tometake-san, I've been running into so many middle-aged men. That's right. Who might you be? I have the AC on in my car. Let's talk there. It's a bit hot here, don't you think? Eh, I think it'll be fine. The man, completely ignoring the question, pointed to, over to his car uh, parked near the gate and began walking. You, you've got to be kidding me. I had no intention of getting along with some geezer I didn't even know, and he was asking me to get into his car with him? I'm not going to bite. Come on, now. He opened the back door of his car and called me over. I didn't like this old man, but I wanted to know what this was about. Even while knowing that conversations that start out like this have never led to anything good. Very true. What do we got? The inside of his car was pretty cool. Cars with air conditioners were supposed to be a luxury. My dad didn't have one in his car, in his car at least. Please, let me know if it's too cold for you, okay? I have a habit of cranking it up all the way. So, what business do you have with me? Out of spite... I decided to ignore his remark out of the same way he did to me and start my own line of questioning. He pulled out a notepad from his pocket and took a picture that uh, took out a picture that was stuck between the pages. On it was the face of a pretty goofy looking guy. If you know anything related to this individual, then please tell me. Who the heck is this? 
I doubt even his close friends would be able to recognize who he was from the expression of this picture that it looked like it was taken at the DMV. Oh, no. This is going to be some guy that died last night at the festival, I bet you. E. There were scribbles on his shirt done in permanent marker. Starting with yours, Mayabara son, and quite a few of Wait, no, that's... Okay, that's the reporter. Huh? This is Tometake-san. Oh, please don't tell me he died. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm feeling it already. Okay. Oh, there was no hint of his usual, unreliable, and easygoing personality in this photo. It was an expressionless, half-asleep face. He's dead. Uh, then how do you know this woman? Even before seeing it, I had a good idea of who it was. Uh, I don't remember her name, but she's some lady who was with Tometake-san last night. I don't know what her name was, but I did know she was a resident of Hinamizawa. Uh... When was the last time you saw these two? The, light, the night of the Watanagashi, we spoke. They seemed pretty close, I guess. Did anything bother you about them? Anything is fine. Go ahead and say it. Being asked for every little detail is troubling, honestly. I had a pretty good idea of who this guy was by now. Did something happen to them? There was no response to my inquiry. Thus, I replied to that silencing kind. I was pretty sure, no, certain, that this guy was a cop. Yep. Then why? Why was he asking about Tomitake's son? He died last night. Oh. Did something happen to him? Oh, no. Oh. Man, he was such a cool guy. Damn it. More importantly, why me? Shouldn't there have been plenty of other people who knew more about him than I did? The roar of the air conditioner felt unbearably loud. After a long pause, he finally spoke again. You've moved here recently, just recently, isn't that right, Mayabara-san? Are you aware, I wonder, about the stories of Oyashira-sama? My heart began to race. I'm pretty terrible at hiding things. It probably showed in my face. Not at all? If you don't, then that's fine. Well, I have heard of it. Tomitake-san told me, actually. How much do you know about it? The dismemberment killing, the accidental death, the death by illness followed by suicide, and the lady who was beaten to death. The, in the incidents that always happened the day of the Watanagashi ended in suspicious deaths. I didn't think Tomitake-san would have kept anything from me. I think that was everything. No, rather, I didn't want to think there was anything more than that. Do you know of that, well, curse, Mayabara-san? Feel free to speak openly about it. Uh, I don't believe in it. My answer was instant. It wasn't so much that I didn't believe in it as I was on the verge of believing I wanted to clear away my own doubts. That was more the prominent feel. That was the more prominent feeling. Really? Then that's great. Guess you really are one of those city-raised boys. So what if I don't believe? I have friends waiting, so could you get to the point? The man in this picture is dead. Yep. Oh. Shit. My mind went blank. Huh? What happened to Tomitake-san? It would seem that he died last night. That was the night of the Watanagashi. Do you understand the implications behind that, mayabara san Implications. Not at any... Not for the cause of his death, or the reasons behind it. The real problem was that he died on the day of Watanagashi. Meaning, this year, the curse of Oyashira Sama's Sama had once again. The death of Jiro Tomitake is so confidential. You can understand that why that is, right? I didn't want to understand why. Please tell me. Tell me what happened. It was rather peculiar. It might be a little too graphic for someone born and raised in Hinamizawa. And with that, that's where we're going to end this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.